Well, hello everyone. I'm Jenny Arms and I'm out here at Ralph Illage Sanctuary and we have the privilege of looking around a little wildlife exhibition. And the exhibition has been put on by Janice Trenere and her group um, who run this beautiful place and it is extremely beautiful. Lovely place to come and have a look and she's gathered together a group of wildlife artists, not exclusive to wildlife, but very talented and very varied and will give you an idea of just some of the places that an artist can go with, in this beautiful place with these amazing birds and creatures. And you can tell from that I love them. I love every bit of them. One young artist that I've been really looking forward to coming and having a look at her work is Angelina Francis. And uh, Angelina is unique in an exhibition like this because she's 14 years old. And she uses another unique material, which is a little bit of a lost art, and that is coloured pencils. There is nothing cheap or poor about a pencil drawing. They are very, very beautiful. And here's one here. She doesn't go to a supermarket to buy her pencil. She buys really good quality ones, which will give her forever. They aren't going to fade in the sunshine. In fact, pencils don't fade. Watercolours may, acrylics may, but pencils last beautifully. But she's going for the top of the range. And the thing about top of the range pencils is that they smooth, smooth in beautifully. You can give them a gentle rub and they will run in. What she also has done here is get fine detail. And, she, and you can feel the feathers here. And then she has this great contrast here of white and colour and very beautiful. I was amazed at the draftsmanship of this young lady. Um, She's got her proportions beautiful. She's got an action from the bird beautifully. We know what's going on. Those bird, birds aren't feeling friendly towards each other. And this is um, another one of Angelina's, and it's the Gang Gang. Those of you, I'm not going to make the noise, but I'm sure some of you know the noise the Gang Gang makes. It's not pretty. It's very Aussie, and she has worked in with her pencils trying to get every feather. Great. Great standard that she's achieved. Well, I thought you might like to have a look at a very, very little group of works all lined up here together. There's these, this one's here, Sherbrooke Forest by Robert Vanderhope. And he's done these three here. They're so very, very different. And he evidently based his work on an, an artist, Pissarro. Now I think Pissarro has been forgotten but uh, he's aiming at simplicity and bright colour. Also, Robert is the opposite extreme to what we've been talking about with Angelina. She was 14, he's nearly 90. Over here, we have these magnificently realistic pastel drawings. I don't do much pastel work, but I admire a pastel artist because of the fine, fine, fine detail. The beauty of this koala's eye and this little possum. The possum's eyes are absolutely superb. Now that artist lives, she works at a vet, so she, gets, she knows animals, but she knows the construction of an eye, the feel of the koala's fur, the little expression on those beautiful little possums who eat all our fruit, um, or my, ours anyway. And I wanted to compare it with this, a, a whole other role of art and photography. This artist has, has photographed this tiny little creature early in the morning and it is actually frozen. Um, however, a short time later, he took it again and the little creature had unfrozen and was able to fly away. And that's a different role of art. That's a learning, something we can learn about the real facts not history in this case, but um, the ways of nature. And I think that's the, the binding thing between all this art, 
People love these little creatures and the birds, they appreciate them, beauty. The finesse, the way I see, the way skin feels, the way light comes through trees, lovely. I uh, brought this piece of work along today because it's uh, an image of Robert Ullman. Now that will mean a lot to the people of Naringal because Robert came and settled here, very close to here, um, at the start of his artistic career. Not wasn't the start, but it was in Australia. And uh, he soon became very well known as a wildlife artist. And he didn't just paint the wrens and the kangaroos and the other birds and animals, but he loved them. And these little fellows on his shoulder, that was how he lived. There were little animals in his studio. Um, he was a character, a, a big, noisy, well-known character who has now passed away. Um, as a work of art, uh, I've brought this up with dots. I don't know why and I don't know where the dots come from, but when I'm shading, I like using dots and I like building up the strength of tone. This little corner here is an interesting corner because they're all birds and they're all relatively local birds and the styles and techniques are absolutely wide. This one here, I suppose it could be called an installation and uh, that has been done by the artist, Mr. Mosley. And I am very impressed by the detail that he has shown um, on the feathers and the patterns and the structure of each of those birds. So very clear, so very different. Uh, these little ones up here, I'm not sure what they are, what, what variety of bird they are, but I love the way that artist has been able to capture, which is very hard to do on a two-dimensional surface, all the different angles of feathers and all the different angles of wings and the way flight occurs. This one here is of she the sheer waters at Port Ferry. And I love them because we have walked Griffith Island many, many times, as many of you locals have. And uh, the sheer waters are a huge part of that island. The way they live in their little caves, the way they come, the way they go, Sometimes we'll walk along the beach and you see, and there's dead ones, dead sheer waters uh, scattered for, because that maybe they're just so tired when they get back from their round, round the world trips each year and yet they come home to Griffith Island to their own little nest and la their, an egg is laid and baby's born and the whole cycle starts off again.